Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Uh, it is a weekly energy read for the week of, uh, what is it, August 29th through September 4th. Yeah, so we're entering September. And since it's the beginning of a new month, we're going back to our Illuminated Love Oracle pool, single card pool. It says, savor the completion. This oracle comes as an invitation to honor what has been and create space within yourself to acknowledge the completion, the end. Embrace the natural closure occurring in your life, which may be celebratory, reflective, or simply a moment to pause. Notice if there's a tendency to look toward what lies ahead rather than savoring the completion of what has been, what is. There is such preciousness in the present moment. Allow your nervous system to digest the movement that has been and arrive at a still point. It is within this space that all potential resides. To access this potential energy with ease, be ready and willing to rest into this natural cycle of life. The nothingness of death, the end. All right, well, you know, death is an archetype in the tarot, meaning rebirth or transformation. I feel like that's a big theme. Savor the completion, that's harvest season, right? So it makes sense for September to come with this sort of energy. But I wonder what else it has in store for us. How was your Virgo new moon weekend? Virgo is making us feel a little bit more practical these days, if not obsessive. Um, those are two pretty like opposite ends of the scale there. But you know what else is happening in Virgo is Venus is moving into Virgo. So in terms of matters of love, um, you know, we could show love will be expressed maybe in a way that's more practical as in like by, by ways of service, like being in service to somebody saying, I love you. Let, let me do this for you. Let me help you. Um, or by giving somebody space, you know, that's in service just to be aware of other people's needs and how you can help somebody along. I'm not saying solve other people's problems. It's not. Um, that's like low energy Virgo, but, um, or unbalanced Virgo. Balanced Virgo is like, you know, if I have the capacity to help, let me help you. And, um, to that I might add, we can only help others and love others in the capacity in which we can love ourselves. And that's what I think that the savor the completion stillness is really referring to is like digest what has happened this summer what is going on have you sat with yourself here we go truth be told in reverse this is sort of like the justice card imagine new life also in reverse so there's a new cycle right when death was mentioned which is transformation and death is really just like the ending before a new beginning. So there's maybe something here this week about um, some sort of dream or some sort of um, truth being held back. And by repressing this truth, there's no room for this new beginning. So yeah, again, digest what has happened so that you can maybe see for yourself um, how you've changed. What are you curious about? What do you think and talk about all the time? That hasn't surfaced. Hasn't been brought to light. Let's clarify. There we go. Wow. Justice in reverse. I feel like this is the same. This is saying the same thing. What has been previously held unaccountable wants to be made 
right wants to be wants to become balanced something wants to become balanced that's also libra energy um i do believe libra there's a planet in libra mercury right from last week mercury went into libra which is like communicating sort of fairly mercury also rules like the first 13 years of our lives which is like our impressions how we're raised like our tendencies then it like it builds up our um mercury builds up our conditioning you know i could say it that way so what has changed here i feel like you need to be curious to get to know yourself better in order for this next step to occur for you to sit with yourself and be like what is if something f is not working, if there's tension anywhere, what is it that wants to be transformed? Queen of Swords, in reverse. Oh wait, these are probably all gonna be in reverse because <laughs> I don't hold reversals in this deck. That's fine, I'll just flip them over. If having reversals in your deck is confusing at first, you could just keep them all upright and then intuitively sense out for, you know, for yourself where it might be in reverse okay let's read these we got the queen of swords the ten of wands five of pentacles six of cups knight of cups ten of cups remember the six and ten of cups was coming out previously as well so the great saga continues we'll we'll see what that's about and then the wheel of fortune cycles ace of pentacles and the sun focus Hmm. There's like a, there's a, I mean, it's, it's because justice is here, right? And Libra is here. Truth be told is here. I feel like there's a lot of what I'm hearing is to be fair. Well, to be fair, blank. I feel like the Queen of Swords doesn't talk like that. Um, she's compassionate, but she sort of says things how they are. And what, you know, the truth is some things are fair to others and then not to others. So let's just take the, the juxtaposition of these two cards, for example. The Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. In some ways they're dissimilar. In other ways they're, they could be like the um, the outcome of like the same energy of this this desire to come out of the cold to become nurtured but then there's there's like this hyper it's almost like hyper vigilance or something like if i feel the lack so greatly if i don't feel fulfilled within myself i'm going to overcompensate and try really hard in all of the things that are happening in my life so that things can come into balance but this doesn't feel very balanced actually I feel like what's being asked is to have a little bit more focus. The universe is maybe showing you a lot of opportunities right now. This is like the, the Wheel of Fortune and the and the Ace of Pentacles is saying like you're you're cycling through opportunity after another, but not really sure um, where each one is heading. So there might be like needing to have focus. The sun here is to insinuate the future. For me, the sun means the future, like what we see as this bright, happy future. It is Leo. Everything that we strive for is that kind of happiness. And we also have the Ten of Cups is happiness. But what's actually happening is we're, well, I don't think we're actually believing that this happiness is here because I'm also seeing the Five of Pentacles. The, the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups from the past. <clears throat> if you remember, if you've been watching my videos, this, the, the message with these in the past has been, if you think things are balanced and that that is enough, things coming into harmony, um, then you'd be settling. Because the Ten of Cups is ultimate contentment. Like there's more. There's, you can ask for more. 
And what I'm getting is, is that it doesn't have to be that difficult. I don't know um, how this may resonate with each one of you, but I, what I'm getting is that some, some of you have been working really hard toward an end. Um, and it can be easier. And the, the ease that I'm getting here is that it's, it's sort of by allowing. The Knight of Cups, I think, they move in such a way that they see the silver lining in the cloud. And I like that for this because we have Imagine here. It's like this lovely blue sort of, you know, even, where was that other card? Savor the Completion is like a lot of blue. Blue energy, this is water. It's the sky. It's like where we daydream, it's where we reflect. And there has to be a focus here on something that's less external and more internal. Um, something resonating more in the frequency of love and allowing something to come to you and for that to bring you a sense of completion and transformation, because that's what's here as well, right? That like savor the completion, come to stillness and then let things be transformed it's not so much a physical thing but there is like the turning of the wheel for this new opportunity and I think for you to be focused you gotta really focus on on the energy of love that's like the cups here this ten of cups versus the five of pentacles which is something that I need whenever we need something it's actually just like something we're not giving to ourselves so this is a finishing energy and I feel like the Queen of Swords is here because she wants us to see things from, from, from her perspective here in terms of dealing with the truth. She's truth-bearing with the sword there, but she's also very compassionate and loving in the way that she deals the truth. So how can you see the beauty in who you are and what you've been through? Offer yourself this harmony, this balance. This is also right, the, the past, the Six of Cups is, a, is like a nostalgia card. So I love to see the Six of Cups with the sun. This is very harmonious energy that's saying, be grateful for everything that you've been through, whether it's been great or challenging and I might say, if you've been struggling, you can ask like a friend or family or just somebody that you trust, or maybe even if you have a mentor, you know, somebody who's guiding you, what they see in you. Because if you have trouble seeing it for yourself or you're special, we can ask for help from somebody else. This weekend is a Sagittarius moon weekend in the first quarter, so it is about curiosity. And you can take that desire to, this line of question about like getting to know yourself better, savor the completion, really feel everything that you've been through and let it digest within you. Let that guide you to this new beginning, to this transformed self. And that would be doing right by you to let things, let the dust settle and be focused on a, on a direction moving forward. That's Virgo energy being very practical. Like, okay, let's look at what I got to work with. This is working, this isn't working. It is pointing all to this energy of love though. And love brings, love turns the wheel and brings in a new opportunity. We can love ourselves in the same capacity. Wait, we can love others only to the capacity in which we love ourselves first so i may leave you with that but i do see libra and leo so maybe i'll just do a little oops special messages for libra and leo here libra King of Wands, King of Pentacles, the High Priestess. And 
interesting. <laughs> um, there's a lot of power, Libra, here. The King of Wands, the King of Pentacles. You may be at ends with somebody um, who is like an equal counterpart, or maybe you're just like not communicating. Um, if you're the King of Wands, then this other person is the King of Pentacles, someone who's very generous. You're very, you, you have a lot of, I think, passion, inspiration, and influence. Um, and maybe this other person is not really responding to that influence and causing um, like a communication rift or something. Or it's like you're not physically communicating, but you're communicating spiritually. Like you're on a, y'all are on another level because kings are like the highest level of attainment here. Um, and you're maybe more focused in on the spiritual side of things and they're more in the 3D. I'm not sure what kind of, what this is about Libra, but um, yeah. Maybe this is communication that will come in for you. This wanted to come out, the Six of Swords. Moving on, I see. Maybe this is somebody you've, you've been dealing with in the recent past, and now you're moving on because y'all are not on the same level. Okay, this is Four of Wands. This is someone you wanted a commitment with. Somebody, maybe a past relationship, Libra. Y'all are not on the same level anymore. Okay. Savor the completion, Libra. Damn. See how that happens? Yeah, and let go. Seven of Wands in reverse is let go. Let it go. That's so funny. Like, I... Okay, fine. Just stop. There's, um, I woke up this morning. I've been in this practice of like, when I wake up, and I know a lot of people experience this, you wake up already with this like weight of anxiety that's like just there. It doesn't come from anywhere. It's just inherently there. The, like the energy on this planet right now that we all share, that we all affects us differently is pretty intense. We forget sometimes, but there's like shit going on. And um, I try to tell myself, and this morning especially was very loud for me. I woke up and before I could even have a single thought, I just said, let it go. <laughs> my subconscious mind to myself was like, what do you mean, let it go? You haven't even done anything yet. I know, just let it go. Okay, if you say so. And then for now to be doing this video today, um, I had not looked into what this card would be today. I just knew I would make this video today. That, that's the September video. Um, and yet it just all, you know, synchronicity. Welcome to Synchro City. It is synchronous. Yeah, doing the work. Okay. Thank you for that confirmation. Let's move on. I want to do Leo and then we'll, we'll wrap up this reading. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Leo. Leo, another relationship for Leo. Man, y'all maybe have relationships that are ending in some way. Show me more for Leo. Seven of Cups. Or Leo's looking for a partner and you're like, where are they? Leo, I think maybe you should like learn how to be your own self-confidant, you know, your own confidant. Nine of Pentacles. You see how the Nine of Pentacles, she has five, one, two, three, four, six of the Pentacles on her side, and then three on the other side. You know, that's still like, that's still like reserving more for the self. However, I just, you know, this is the self-confidence card because she at least understands what she's worth. She understands that she needs to preserve herself. And in the effort of self-preservation and really taking care of herself, she has like a bounty on which to rely on, a safety net. But she's still generous and offers three here to whoever may come. So Leo, are you building that up for yourself? Do you have that? How balanced are you? My God. These cards are crazy. This is what fell out. We have the full 
the Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords. So Leo, you know, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I don't know if you're ready for a relationship because you have to, you, you, you're still tapping into your own personal power. So your version of savor the completion might be just to have acceptance in where you are right now in terms of your relationships. And really focus on, yeah. Your, your season has just passed, Leo. What was illuminated to you? You know, happy belated birthday, but like, how have you changed? How often do you revisit if maybe once a year, how, you know, how you've changed? Are you curious to get to know yourself better and like how, how you've changed? Instead of questing for relationship because it's expected or because we want some you know external validation or something the full came on reverse so i take that a little bit as unbalanced like we're not ready for a relationship peace and love is the energy that turns this wheel to new opportunity and to happiness in the future if you find yourself over compensating or being hyper vigilant Please look at why you feel a lack or a need. What is the need within yourself that's being coped with or just sort of, I don't know. I'm imagining like putting on like an ointment on a rash or like on like a very tender physical place on the body. But like, and I say rash because the rashes like flare up, right? There's like, there's, it happens in times of like either immense stress or crisis or just whenever we don't take the time out to be with ourselves. And like this card is saying, digest the movement, digest what has happened. I know I could be better at that also. And maybe that's just what I will do. Um, in the meantime, then, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if it resonates, what's going on with you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you to subscribers and those who comment below to let me know that you're watching. I will pick a song for this week that resonates with this reading. I hope that you have a great week. Take care.